the United Nations taking some heat earlier this week, telling people to stop using words husband and wife. Now, why would they say such a thing? I got a full breakdown coming for you guys. Stick with me. First, if you can, do me a big favor. Give this video a like. Also, share the video across all of your platforms. Help me beat those nasty YouTube algorithms, guys. Subscribe here if you are brand new. And if you enjoy the daily video content, would you consider sponsoring my ministry, what I do here for $5 a month or more? Your support goes a long way, guys, especially with all the demonetization of videos now with conservative, you know, commentators like myself. You know, they're not making it easy for us anymore, that's for sure. You can help me out by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Just check that pretty link down there in the description. And not only do you help me out, you throw a couple dollars my way, but you get my exclusive bonus content as well. All my podcasts that I do where I talk a lot more about sensitive information. You don't want to miss it. Plus, you help a blind fat guy out, guys. So help a blind fat guy out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. What's going on with the United Nations? Earlier this week, they put out a tweet talking all about how to make the world a better place with gender-neutral language. That's right. Now, they put out a list of words you should now start using instead of previous words that might now, you know, they might be looked upon now as being offensive, especially if you don't know how to refer to somebody, you know, if you don't know whatever gender they identify as. Now, on this list were words like, you know, uh, mankind. You can't say mankind anymore. That's offensive. You got to say humankind, okay? So, whatever. You can't say boyfriend or girlfriend anymore. You have to say partner. And then this is the one that I really love to hear, husband and wife. No longer can you use those terms because those words are so offensive. You can now only refer to them as your spouse because not everybody recognizes just a traditional marriage between a man and a woman. So you don't know whatever you could identify as man and man, woman and woman, creature and this and whatever the case may be, use spouse. This is all a way to retrain the world to now use these gender neutral terms and people ask me a lot. They say, why is this all like, what, the world is going absolutely crazy. Why are they, you know, why does it seem like we're living in an upside down world? Is it like the world is, is, is calling, you know, evil good and good evil? Well, it's just like the Bible says. And I look at it like this. These are all attacks against God. Because what they're doing is that they are attacking the foundation for which this was all created. Uh, the foundation that God created. He created a man and he created woman to form that perfect union together. So now we take common sense. We take just actual reality. What we know, what we know to be true, according to the word of God, we flip that upside down on its head. Now we retrain people to think the complete opposite of that. And it's so dangerous and be very careful that you don't fall into this trap because we already know right now in several countries around the world, you know, if you don't use this kind of gender neutral language. You know what? They'll arrest you. They'll find you. They'll throw you in jail. And I fear that it could get even worse as time goes on from here. Now, the UN was mocked for this, uh, the things that were said about them. A lot of it was kind of funny. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link down below in the description. You can see what others had to say about the tweet. But I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the gender neutral language? Are you going to call your uh, husband and wife? You're just going to refer to them now as your spouse? You can listen to the UN or uh, you're just going to keep going on with what you know is true. Let me know. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.